And just like that, the postman showed up. Hey, how's it going? Rick Strohmeyer here over at Art and Toy Theory. Thanks for joining me today. We have an unboxing today, which came all the way from martiantoys.com. Let's check it out. Got my Husky helper here. We're gonna open this guy up. Shake the camera a little too. What have we got? Paper! Just what I needed. That old gag. <laughs> All right. So, I have the same, I have projects for these guys, of course, and they're all subject to the same roulette method that I did with this Ravenger. That video is in the library. And we have we have another Ravager. I love this form. It's a designer toy award winning best sculpt. I've customized over 20 of them. I think this is a great platform. Uh, there's there's a lot of detail in this already and, and uh, for a, a capable painter, there's many things you can do without even having to do any sculpting to it. I think this is a, a perfect, it's perfect, man. And I look forward to putting uh, my own spin on, or another spin on this. Just like this one, and that one, and that one. And all the others that are in, uh, found their way into collections. Aaron has also graced me with a Megatech that will also go with the random color choice uh, gambit. I look forward to painting this guy too. And then we have out of the bag a DR76 is it an Aurobos? Our, uh, our our if it's not unpainted. I don't know. We're going to change camera angles and take a closer look at this guy and and check out what makes this so damn awesome. All right, first off, Dragon76 is available at dragon76art.com. He's a Japanese street artist. I think his style is incredibly detailed and illustrative in a dystopian fashion. Uh, the dude knocks it out with all kinds of details and everything he does and this toy embodies that hands down uh, to give a little bit of scale on this toy this is what a three inch dunny looks next to him and this is what a six inch tech looks like beside him you can see that they are really close in size and this will fit well in any display case that a Tech 63 fits in. This guy has one, two, three, four, five and a half points of articulation. His feet remind me of, his feet and hips remind me of how a 3A Bamba Bass uh, is articulated because he has the hips and the the feet as well, which all, which allows it to have some really cool uh, and dynamic poses. This guy also comes with a spray can, and it's 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 got lots of nice planes on it for whatever details you want to put on it. It also came with a paint roller, and here's the coolest part about the paint roller: this too is also articulated. So it rolls around too. So you can, you're going to be able to, when you position the arm down, you can position the drips to make it look like it's actually flowing the right way. I think that when I, if I were to put a Goldilocks pose on this guy, I think I would definitely have the hips posed at a dynamic way away and the feet standing. And I'd create movement like that. Uh, this guy 
is has a buttload of details on them and has a lot of cool flat planes so that you know there are there are details with the stormtrooper showgun mask uh, that that allow for for cool manipulation of paints there's also a lot of cool flat planes on here the armor has or the arms have some armor on it that look uh, futuristic uh, the fingers are they're they're small they're flexible for uh, a good grip on the can the accessories um, details on the shoulder pads look at the pockets he's got cargo pant pockets on uh, the shoes just have the toe and laces detailed in there and the sides allow for more customization on there I think Aaron has hit a home run producing this with with Dragon 76 this looks really cool this is this is going to have a lot of potential as a, a platform um, and like I said this guy's going to be part of my roulette series of, of painting methods please do not ask me how much I'm going to sell this blank for because it will be on sale after I put paint on it not one second sooner uh, and in the comments section if you want to see like particular colors on this or me manipulate particular colors on this put dr76 and couple color choices and we'll see what this this old paint scientist can do with that all right that concludes the unboxing with the megatech the ravager and the dr76 i'd like to thank you all for watching Cool Quicks products and, DR and Dragon 76 products are available at martiantoys.com. Give them a follow at Instagram. Give me a follow on Instagram. If you like what you saw here, give me a subscribe and see what's going on. Also, with the Ravager, the Megatech, and the DR76, I am going to do a random uh, color palette on this. We're going to roll for parts and colors, just like I did with this Ravager. And... If you want to see a couple specific colors and how we do this, go ahead and leave comments with the platform and a couple color choices. Each one's going to be limited, just like this one was, to six colors. And values will fluctuate on that because it's not that thing is not just six flat colors and, and done. There's lots of values added to it. And just a lot of creative freedom and how a, a paint, job, paint job can go with that. So... Thanks a lot for joining us, and we'll see you later.